Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, the man with nothing to lose. The man who rules the world runs into the irresistible force of a man with nothing to lose in this action-packed, all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get the regular and variant editions of John Haynes, the man with nothing to lose on Amazon.com today. I got a chance to take a look at Netflix's Black AF last week. And I have to say, this show is sad AF because this show goes out of its way to degrade black people and show black people not with a pride and love of self, but a whole host of insecurities and feelings of inadequacy about being black. Now, these Kenya Barris shows, as I see it, are extremely toxic for black people to watch because these shows are not about showing an image of black pride, but an image of black insecurity. And that insecurity comes from people like your Kenya Barris who have feelings of inadequacy regarding their so-called black identity because they are so spellbound about the idea of fitting into that black box that's acceptable to white people that they have no sense of self-worth or self-confidence. And that was one of the things that is a theme in many of your Kenya Barris shows, like your black-ish, like your grown-ish, and like your mixed-ish, where we see these sad, pathetic black people who feel insecure and inadequate about achieving success and spend most of their time worrying about how they're going to appear in front of white people as being black. Now, as somebody who has grown up in the South Bronx and grown up in black communities, I have not ever had that feeling of insecurity or inadequacy at all in my life. And when I see a show like this featuring a pathetic man sitting there trying to make himself fit into stereotypical roles in order to make white people feel comfortable, it really makes me shake my head because it shows me that the person who has an issue with their black identity is someone like a Kenya Barris, somebody who just is, is so caught up in seeking white validation that they don't see any sort of value in true blackness and they have no confidence in being black because they just want to be into this white world and they want to be the black image that it appears to be acceptable to those white people. That's what I got from watching those two episodes of your Black AF. I saw the picture of an individual who was so insecure about his own black identity as related to white people that he had no sense of pride or self-awareness about just being himself. Now, your average black guy out here, we don't have that sense of insecurity or inadequacy. We know we are black, we accept we are black, and we don't need to do things to overcompensate to try to fit into some stereotypical box that makes white people feel comfortable the way this Kenya Barris does on this show, the way he just sits there and puts on gold chains and jogging suits and talks about street stuff all the time. I mean, this guy is just a walking stereotype, and he never, ever thinks to just be himself. He just doesn't want to be himself because he's scared he won't be accepted by white people, but any secure, independent, critical thinking black person isn't concerned about white people. We don't deify white people and worship them the way as depicted in these Kenya Barris shows. And when I look at these programs, I consider them to be extremely toxic for black people to watch because they show us a modern-day minstrel show where we have these black, so-called educated, successful, professional black men cooning and buffooning just like your Amos and Andy. And that's the thing that most people don't really get regarding these shows like your Blackish, 
your mixed-ish and your grown-ish is they give you a modern-day Amos and Andy in that we get these scared Negroes who are terrified of their success and terrified to just be themselves because they're afraid that if they act in a way that is, does not fit into the white people's version of black, they fear they're going to be punished for it. And this is all something in the minds of these black people. And again, this, is, this type of programming is not just meant to be entertainment for those whites, but it's also meant to be programming for the next generation of young black kids. And if you sit there and watch this type of programming for too long, you're going to believe that you have to be scared in every aspect of your life and that you need to be this scared person in order to interact with other white people or just to live a life. And that's one of the things I did not like about your black AF is that it just shows you that the only it makes the it make, correlates this message of success with being a coon and success with being a scared brother and that's that's really not what success is i mean if your everybody else can have a confident secure individual on the air out here why can't we have that now i mean back in the day when i was a kid when benson was on the cosby show um the different world family matters fresh prince when we saw black men out here and they had their success they were presented as men who were secure in themselves men who were confident in themselves men who knew who they were and men who were unabashedly black when i would sit there and watch your benson who was the only black man in the room and he would sit there and stand directly up to people like your Clayton Endicott and your Krauss, that really made me proud to see that, to see Robert Guillaume show that confidence that he was not afraid to be himself and not afraid to stand up for himself. Same thing with Cliff Huxtable and the same thing with Carl Winslow and Philip Banks. And seeing those black men they were never afraid to be black men. They were not afraid to be themselves. But in this 21st century, where we're supposed to be all about diversity and inclusion, every black man I see these days is some sort of frady cat coward, like the Anthony Anderson character on Blackish or this Kenya Barris character. And they are so scared of being themselves that it's all about everything out of their mouth is white people, white people, white people. And it takes me back to shows like the Jeffersons and the Hewleys, where this guy who gets the success, everything is about chasing some white person and not finding value in being black or finding value in building something black or finding value in working with other black people. That's the thing that really annoyed me about this show is that this man has all of this so-called success, but he's a failure because he just has no self-confidence, no self-esteem, no self-worth. And he's talking about making a show called Black AF. There's nothing black about this show. This show is nothing more than another one of these buck dancing, bojangling, step and fetch it minstrel shows that is meant to make white racists on the left feel comfortable about being able to watch a show where they can see this black man who meets all the diversity points that they want to check off as related to the boxes, but still get the same type of Amos and Andy type entertainment that they enjoy watching all the time. Because it's really it really annoys me to see a show where you see a black man going out of his way to perpetuate all of the racist stereotypes out here, even though he has all of this so-called success, he is a failure because all he wants to do is be a stereotype and make other white people feel comfortable about their ideas about black people instead of going out here to create 
his own image of black people. And that's the saddest part about this Kenya Barris and his Black AF show. Here is a man who has the ability to create his own image out here. And instead of him having the confidence to go out here and create an image of blackness that presents black pride, that puts instills pride in other black people, he spends most of his time trying to make an image that appears to be appeasing to white people. And I won't just, I'm also going to go into how all of his children are light-skinned and he's got a biracial wife. Again, all about self-hatred. And that's one of the things I hated about this show, is that it's basically a modern, another modern-day minstrel show meant to promote black self-hatred and meant to promote the worst behaviors and then want to play the victim role and it's just it's just a it's a very sick show and I, I really am disturbed that this is supposed to be what is supposed to represent black people on television. And if this is what we're getting as supposed to be the standard, we have really fallen off if this is the standard that all we're getting now are these scared brothers who even though they passively present you with the image of so called successful professional black men they present us with this image of a coward who is just out to get white validation and is so spellbound by white people that they want to fit into the stereotype roles that allow them to fit into the black box that is acceptable to white people and that's that's the saddest part about your black af your black af just shows you how spellbound some of these Negroes are, especially these Negroes in Hollywood, and how these Negroes are not about trying to elevate the black image. All they want to do is bootlick and brown nose Mr. Charlie and seek out his approval. And all they want to do is be acceptable in his eyes and make themselves second best in your own eyes. And that's another critical question I have to ask about this black AF. How are you black AF if you are spending most of your time looking for white validation and white approval? That that's really was the saddest part about this whole show, was it didn't really show you anything about blackness, because I don't know any black person who acts like this. And those who do, they are truly some of the saddest and most pathetic individuals I would ever would whatever and run into an encounter to because this type of behavior when I look at it this this is not anybody who loves being black or loves themselves this is a pathetic individual who basically lives for the deification and worship of white people and lives to be a slave under somebody else and what's really sad is in spite of having all of this success this is what makes them a failure as a person, and this is what makes this show a failure overall. I mean, this show, as I see it, is poison to black people, and no black person should really go out here and watch this type of show, or any of these Kenya Barris shows, because they are toxic poison, and all they are going to do is poison your mind to make you believe that the only way to have success in this world is to be a buck-dancing, bow-jangling, step-and-fetch-it Negro who spends most of this time being scared about offending the wrong white person or seeking the validation of white person. And God did not make you to be on this earth to worship some white person and be under some white person. He didn't make you to live like that. And this is not a way that anybody should want to live. And this type of program is not something you would want to watch. I mean, when I look at this, when I looked at this show, I, I just was disgusted by what I saw because I don't really want to sit down and watch a TV show watching black folks who have, again, all of this Hollywood lifestyle and all this trappings. And they, they, if, that's, if that's success, then you're a failure. I mean, I have to say it. You're a failure because you're not living life. Your life is living you. And you're, you're just existing to be in somebody else's world and that's 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 not living at all. That's that's a pathetic person, and that's that that's all I saw on the show was a group of pathetic, sad, disturbed people, and 
this if this is what black entertainment has become, we have really fallen, fallen very, very far. If you want to pick up some positive black fiction that inspires and uplifts, you can pick up some of my books on the SJS Direct Imp excuse me, like the ISIS series, the East Team series, the John Haynes series. There you will see positive images of black people who are proud of being black and not ashamed to be black and not seeking out anybody else's validation or approval. And these are the type of books that will give you a positive image of self, an image of self-worth, and make you feel proud about being black. So you can head over to Amazon.com and pick up some positive black books, and you can all, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, and my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, The Beauty Myth. Learn the beauty secrets of the goddess next door in this action-packed Isis series adventure. Get Isis, The Beauty Myth at online booksellers everywhere today.